probably gonna be a really chill day it's my day off as you know i'm a very part-time reseller so if i have a sale later in the day it'll probably show up in tomorrow's vlog um i think i'm just gonna go have lunch and maybe do some shopping and yeah i'll film some content if not i'll just do a shout out and thank you guys so much for watching i'll leave some footage of what i do for the day my boyfriend and I decided to go to downtown LA to grab some lunch and just wander around the city because it's something we rarely do. Here we are in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. This is on the corner of Hill Street and 3rd. Our first stop was the Grand Central Marketplace. This marketplace opened up in 1917. It was originally a market. You could buy produce meat dairy etc even up until the 90s but now it's more of a restaurant they have coffee shops ice cream shops etc in the basement we saw this pop-up shop happening and this is how i find out about events is i literally just run into them we walked around the marketplace but weren't really hungry yet so we decided to keep exploring Across the street is Angel's Flight. It's the oldest and last remaining railway in downtown Los Angeles. You may have seen it in the movie La La Land. The train just takes you to the top of Bunker Hill where you can see Angel's Knoll. Another scene you might recognize this is where the benches from 500 Days of Summer are where Tom and Summer sit and look at the architecture of the city. We walked into some filming. This is either for a commercial or most likely b-roll for a reality show. We accidentally ended up at the Cecil Hotel. It's been closed for years, but as you can see, there's activity. Lights are on, windows are open. If you're not familiar with the Cecil Hotel, Google it. There's countless documentaries on Netflix. There's podcast episodes. An entire season of American Horror Story was dedicated to this hotel. It's very eerie, very creepy. I had to leave because the lot was closing soon and had to exit through the alleyway, which was very creepy. We did find street parking, but now have to walk in front of the hotel, which has been shut down. But the stay on main side, which is the hostel Airbnb, is still open, but I would not recommend anyone staying there. We were headed to Kohl's, which is around the corner. It's supposedly the oldest restaurant and bar in Los Angeles. It opened in 1908. It was a speakeasy during Prohibition era in the 20s. And I got a whiskey sour. And here is what the restaurant looks like. Here's some pictures and more pictures of railways that used to be all over the city in Los Angeles. I got a French dip sandwich. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little different, but it was fun to visit some of vintage Los Angeles. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you tomorrow.